it's the war hipster here coming at you with another basing tutorial and today we are covering snowy bases kind of like a frozen mountainside or just kind of a colder environment and this is perfect for this kind of miniature this anvils of the held and hammer vindictor because well it will contrast really nicely with the black armor so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using two texture paints we've got astro granite and we've got astro granite debris what we want to do is we're going to start by taking some astro granite debris on our texture spreader and what we want to do just load it up like that just basically want to pick areas that we want to have the slightly rockier and just load up that astro granite debris all over the negative space on the base Like this, have a little bit more, and then you're right up to that skull. Like so. Then what we do is we take Astro Granite. And we just use this to fill in the gaps. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some apothecary white to colour in the rock just here on which she's standing. So you want this to be nice and bright. Just like that. And with that done, we then want to take some Skeleton Horde. I'm going to use this to colour in the skull. And with that done, what we now want to do is shade the base using some Drakenhof Nightshade. And with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to give that base a dry brush of Praxetti White. Including the rock and the skull. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to make a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part Talisar Blue mix. I'm going to add this just in little patches here and there around the base. 
So for example, on the rock, we just want to add a little bit of this Talisar blue, like so. And down on this side as well. And then we also want to add it in just in little patches, as I said. Around the base. And so with that done, what we then want to do is we want to add a few little sparse tufts. Now I'm using some Mordheim tufts for my base, just here and there, in and around. scenery just breaks it up a little bit more like so and with that done what we then want to do is we want to use some Valhallen blizzard to add a snow effect now I find with Valhallen blizzard that less is more so if you just take it steady Use your texture spreader or a brush if you prefer to add snow here and there around the miniature and just build it up until you're happy with it. What you can even do on the tufts is you can just dab it in so it like that snow has fallen and caught in the grasses. Just like this. As you say, you really don't want to go go in with lots at a time. If you use too much snow at once, it looks a bit weird. You also don't need to cover the entire base. You just go until you're happy. And so with that done, our base is now finished. So all we've got left to do is paint the rim. And I'm gonna be using the old classic Corpus Black. But of course you can do yours any color that you wish. I just find that the Corpus Black really commonly complements and provides a really nice little kind of contrast with the, with the kind of brighter or frozen base. And there we have it, our wintry, snowy, cold mountain site, frigid landscape, whatever you want to call them, we've gone with winter bases, uh, are now finished and they look really, really cool. I really, really like the kind of icy effect we've got particularly on that rock I think it looks absolutely spot on particularly after that dry brush adding that extra highlight in there just to make it nice and crisp and cold and well as I said already I think it perfectly perfectly complements the black armor of the anvils of the Heldenhammer. hammer so much so that I couldn't picture them any other way
If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, like these legends and bosses that you can see on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.